Hi friends, welcome to another Sunday with Sarah. I'm Sarah Baldwin. I'm a Waldorf teacher, uh, the, the author, the mother of two Waldorf graduates. I'm also the owner of Bella Luna Toys. And since Christmas is coming, I know a lot of parents, like I myself used to do, used to plan ahead my children's big presents for Christmas and it would get close to Christmas and I would think, stocking stuffers, um, what am I gonna put in their stockings? I would often leave it until uh, a day or two before Christmas and then I'd have to go to my local store and get some junky trinkets and candy. Um, but today I'm here to, to encourage you to plan ahead and give you some ideas for some really quality stocking stuffers that your children are going to enjoy for a long time and not end up in a landfill or broken in a few weeks time and they're not going to uh, be unhealthy sweets. So let's get started. So if you have a, a baby in your family, I really recommend clutching toys. They're small, they'll fit in a stocking and they're so great for developing uh, a baby's sense of grasp and coordination. They're often stimulating uh, visually and, and, and to different senses. We have several clutching toys at Bella Luna Toys from Haba, uh, one of my favorite companies based in Germany um, and that have been producing quality wooden toys for years. This one is called the Color Snake and it, it has curved pieces connected by little balls and it can be twisted in, in various shapes and as a child gets older they can learn to ident name and identify colors. Um, so that's one great idea for, for a baby. So here's a great uh, stocking stuffer for toddlers 18 months and up. This is one of our best-selling um, stocking stuffers at Bella Luna Toys. They also make great party favors. Uh, it's the Mushroom Kaleidoscope from Plan Toys, and it's made of rubber wood, uh, which is a, a renewable source of, of wood, so very eco-friendly. We love plant toys for that reason. And so very visually stimulating for a child to look through the kaleidoscope and just see dozens and dozens of images of whatever they look at. It comes with different uh, assorted color tops. It's just the right size for a stocking. And here's another cute idea for children of all ages. This is a little nail brush, a whale nail brush. Uh, so it makes cleaning up fun. Uh, so a child can just uh, keep it in the bathroom and uh, encourage to keep his or her nails clean. It's made of natural unfinished beech wood. It feels nice in the hand. Another perfect size for a stocking stuffer that will be useful and will last for years. Here's one of my favorite stocking stuffers, Bubbles. And I used to put uh, Bubbles in my children's stockings when they were little. Um, and these are Postafix Bubbles. If you're not familiar with them, in my opinion, Postafix makes the best blowing bubbles in the world. They're made in Germany and uh, they've been making them for years. They're really easy to blow. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see from the video, but they, they have a really rainbow iridescent sheen to them. Um, and this little tube, which is 2.3 ounces, is just the right size for a stocking. Another stocking stuffer idea for children of all ages are hacky sacks. And the, these are great for a younger child. Uh, it can just be a grasping toy. There are little uh, beads inside that make it stimulating to touch and older children can play games with them, the hacky sack game where they, they uh, can kick the hacky sack around. You can buy three of them and a child can learn to juggle. Ours are fair trade made in Guatemala. Each one is unique in all different bright colors. So I think they're a really colorful, nice addition to a, to a holiday stocking. And here I've got a little pocket gnome and a pocket baby. And these are among the smallest uh, types of Waldorf dolls. Uh, they're, they're very soft, made of cotton velour and stuffed with pure wool. The, the uh, pocket gnome has a little beard made of wool. 
And uh, these are appropriate for children three and up, but I especially like to tuck these in a stocking so they're just peeking out, so the child sees a little face peeking out on Christmas morning. Um, and both, both types of dolls come in a wide variety of rainbow colors, so you can choose your child's favorite color. One tradition in my family, as my children were growing up, is every year they would get a, a different um, Ostheimer wooden figure or animal in their Christmas stocking, and they would get one for every birthday too, and we would slowly grow our collection this way. If you're not familiar with Ostheimer, these are beautiful hand-carved uh, wooden figures. We have animals and, uh, and, and people figures, knights and royal family. We've got farm animals and woodland animals and zoo animals, um, really dozens, dozens of figures. Uh, so it's, I think it's a nice tradition in one's family to, to uh, gift a child one new figure for every holiday, Christmas at, uh, or Hanukkah, and, um, and every birthday. I just brought a few examples. Here is a sitting fox, and here's the Bernese mountain, mountain dog, and um, we've got a stretching gray cat here. So the larger animals like this are safe for babies. Um, some of the smaller ones could be a choking hazard for, for, uh, for babies. So on our website, uh, we do list um, the age ranges and, uh, for, for, and, and the dimensions for each size. But these are truly among my favorites. Another one of our best-selling stocking stuffers at Bella Luna Toys, in fact, one of our best sellers year-round, are crayon rocks. And they come in um, bags of 8 or 16 crayon rocks. And if you're not familiar with them, crayon rocks are shaped uh, like a rock. But these were actually designed by a special ed teacher. And they are designed for a child to develop what's called their triangular grasp or their pencil grasp. Um, they, they, they're shaped in a way to strengthen those muscles that's going to help a child learn to write uh, later on. Um, and they're made, they, they glide on paper really smoothly. They're made with a combination of soy and other waxes that, uh, that uh, I, I really like the texture. But note, Note how small they are. These are definitely not for children under three. Um, they could, they look kind of like candy or jelly beans. Uh, so you don't want to give these to a child who's still putting, putting everything in his or her mouth. But for, for uh, children three and up, they're wonderful. And what's more classic to put in a stocking than a wooden top? A classic toy for the ages. And um, our rainbow spinning top is made in Austria. It's hand painted with these rainbow colors uh, and they're engineered. They spin so beautifully. Uh, I just think they're really lovely, really lovely, colorful, classic addition to a child's stocking. Another toy that will be enjoyed for years. And from the same uh, Austrian toy maker, we've got rainbow yo-yos. This is a great uh, stocking stuffer for older children say um, six or seven and up who can, who can manage a yo-yo. And this is the rainbow yo-yo. Like the top, it's printed in these beautiful stripes of hand-painted colors, uh, another classic. And here's another one of our perennial best-selling stocking stuffers, great for older children, especially those who like doing crafts. This is a, a classic knitting mushroom. And if you're not familiar with the concept, you wrap uh, yarn around, it comes with a little wooden knitting needle, and then you just loop the yarn round and round. It comes with instructions, and uh, as you continue to knit, a long cord will emerge from the bottom of the knitting mushroom. But it's another cute, colorful, handmade wooden toy from Europe uh, that will really encourage uh, fine motor skills and, uh, and, and entertain a child who enjoys crafts. 
And so another uh, idea for an older child, who, especially one who loves nature, is a magnifying glass. This is our dual magnifier. It has two different strengths of magnification and uh, just the right size for a stocking. A great way to encourage your young nature lover to really examine up close bugs and flowers and leaves and uh, will, again, quality toy that uh, they'll enjoy for years. So I hope that gave you some ideas for how to create an eco-friendly child's holiday stocking uh, and the toys that will encourage creative, imaginative play and won't end up in a landfill for hundreds of years. Uh, we have lots more uh, stocking stuffer ideas at Bella Luna Toys. It's bellalunatoys.com. You can search for stocking stuffers or look for the stocking stuffer category. But I uh, thank you so much for watching and wish you all a very, very happy holiday season. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more Sunday with Sarah videos, be sure to subscribe to the Sunday with Sarah YouTube channel and click the little notification bell to be notified every time we publish a new video. As always, I really appreciate hearing from you. Leave a comment below the video or you can email me at sundaywithsarah at bellalunatoys.com and I love hearing your questions and answering them and maybe I'll answer yours in a future video. See you next Sunday.